before monitoring with the 3M 3721 Passive Organic Vapor Monitor, record the monitor's serial number, date, sample ID, temperature and relative humidity on the can lid. For your purposes, the exposure time will be the total amount of sample time to be determined at the end of sampling, and the vapors will be formaldehyde. Remove the monitor assemblies from the cans. Record the date, sample ID, and starting time on the label on the bottom cup. Do not remove the white film and plastic ring. Remove the moisture retaining opaque cap from the bottom section of the monitor. Discard this moisture retaining cap. Proceed immediately to the next step. Snap the top and bottom sections of the monitor together. Do not remove the white film and plastic ring. The monitor can be used as a personal sampler or an area sampler. For a personal sampler, attach the monitor near the breathing zone of the person to be sampled. When using the monitor as an area monitor, hang it away from walls, corners, tabletops, or other areas where air movement in the room may be limited. Remember, a field blank should be collected for each sample set and should accompany the monitor during all periods except actual sampling. For more detailed information, watch the Galson Field Blanks instructional video. After sampling is stopped, remove the plastic ring and white film. Be sure to move immediately to the next step. Snap the cap with plugs onto the top section of the monitor. Separate the top and bottom sections of the monitor and discard the bottom section with the metal clip. Snap the bottom cup with the date, sample ID, and starting time on the label into the bottom of the top section. Be sure the cup is snapped securely. Add the stop time to the label. Return the sealed monitor section and the short plastic straw to the can and close it with the white plastic lid provided. Put the exposure time on the white lid. Then, complete the chain of custody form. It is important that you include all the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. Remove the pink copy and keep this for your records. Send the white and yellow copies in with the samples to the lab in the large Ziploc bag. Questions? Contact Galson Laboratories by phone, email, or IH Live Chat. You may also access our extensive library of other helpful videos at galsonlabs.com. Thank you.